All right, the next attack we're going to do is here, and uh, this particular attack has uh, 12 factors attacking, and we're actually attacking across a river here. And when we do that, a minor river is going to drop us back one uh, column. But I believe because it is the first turn, somewhere in here it says in the special rules for the scenario that we ignore minor rivers and we make major rivers minor rivers. And I'm just looking for that real quickly. Let me pause the camera while we do that. Yeah, we're treating that guy as a minor, as a as no river. Uh, we're pretending it's not there for this turn. And we roll a six this time on a six to one. So that dude, this is a step and it's a one step guy. So he's gone and we can advance these little chappies into here. And, you know, I don't know whether that would count as a woods hex or not. It doesn't look like it to me. It's a minor piece of art. And I don't have my tweezers, so you have to bear with me. And the next attack we're going to do, then, is this dude here. <coughs> just just right here. He has 8 to 1 across a minor river, which we will ignore. But it is in the woods, and I think woods will just subtract... Uh, one combat factor, and since we're not using com uh, tanks, it's not going to matter. It only takes a combat factor off the tank. So it's 8 to 1, which is 6 to 1, and almost a cocked eye roll. 3, Defender Retreat with an Asterix, 2 Hex Retreat, and we'll go back 2 Hexes to here. Actually, with this one, I think we'll go here. And these guys can advance. And then we have these chappies here. I'm not allowed to use the air in the first turn for some reason. Look, here's the supply thingy. Everything's a thingy, if you've noticed. So there's 14 factors, and because we're, we're attacking in the open, boom, thanks for playing. So let's just roll the die for that guy. I'll roll the red die. Oh, the red die rolls a six. Lucky us, you can't see that. There's the three from before, and there's a six. I don't know why I'm showing you all of this. You probably don't even care. But there you go. So we're just rocking. Rock and lock docking now, we've killed three guys. And I still haven't worked out what to do with the supply thingies. See? There's another thingy. Eight, two, one. Oh no. He's in the woods. It's not gonna have any change uh, effect on the combat. So we will roll. Roll another six. Oh, he's eliminated. Now when you're eliminated in this, uh, DE actually says that all the defending units are eliminated. And that unless it's a Soviet attacking the Germans, in which case the Soviets would take a step loss even though they eliminated all the German units. So what did I do? I killed that guy there. Do I want to advance or do I want to stay there? Do I have to advance? I forget. I don't think you do. Uh, okay. I think I don't want to advance because if I, I want to go maybe this way. Well, maybe not. Let's hedge our bets and do this. Uh, five. Five to one. Do I want to do that? Mm. Sure, we do. Why not? I'm going to attack that guy there. <laughs> Rolls a one. Nice. Uh, BL1. I'm guessing that means both lose one. Yep. Super. My first losses for the game. We haven't even got started yet. Uh, that's lame. Do I get to advance? It's insane. Hex is empty, so I assume we can. And uh, the big HQ unit. Now I know he gets to follow along on an advance, and I've got four units in here. We're doing two different attacks, I think. We're going to. You know, normally, it, I've got a move phase after this, but because of the way the Zox work, I think uh, I'm better off trying to kill units in the opening turn than I am trying to pocket things, uh, just to get the little wipe the table clean thing. So we're going to do seven and six. Uh, or was I going to do all of it on this one in this fortress? Let's do a fortress combat. Let's just pile in on this dude here. <coughs> The fortress on the terrain chart, I think, only moves things yet. It's a one shift, so... Let's 
6 to 1, I would need 12. So what have I got here? I've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was doing. So I was doing 13 factors there. And we're on a 5 to 1 table. And we'll roll the black German die with the red pips. Roll the 1. If you can see that or not. So they lose a step. Does Fortress mean... Uh, I guess it doesn't change anything. So we will advance into that. All right. Now that might have an impact on supply for these guys. I'm going to pop these little dudes in here. That's the Panzer headquarters. All righty. We can do a six to one on there and a six to one on there. I guess the other thing I could have done was attacked both of those and got rid of that unit. That's a tough unit. Was that what I was thinking of doing? Probably not. Alright, let's do 6 to 1 on this guy. 6. So he's going to be dead no matter what odds it is, so we'll just get rid of it. Oh, it's 5 to 1. 6 is still dead. Okay, he's got a fortress exit. And this guy is 6 to 1 in the open. Defend a retreat with an asterisk. Retreats two steps. Now, he can't. He's on a control. One, two, he can do this. I think they can negate. That's something I need to check. So, I have a little. I have a little marker. I'm going to pause. Yeah, so this guy can retreat to here. Retreat to here. He can go one, two, go this way. He can't retreat here because it's in a zone of control of the enemy. So, here they move in. This is going to be a whole bunch to one here. Yep. So we'll roll that guy. You probably can't see. Where are we at? Have I been not showing you? Never mind. Alright. Six to one on this guy here. It's not a fortress hex, and it is in the open. So one is a defender retreat, two. And this time he can retreat. One, two to here. Ooh. I'm going to leave these guys back out from that. I'm not going to advance into the hex because I... Uh, the way zones of control work in this game, I, I think that's going to inhibit my movement. Probably should have read the rules more in more detail. Alright, across the minor river, there's two factors there with eight. That's going to be four to one, unless we pile these guys in and let's do that. So they'll make it six to one. They're in a fortress, so it drops back to five to one. We roll a five. Thanks for playing. Uh, oh, you know what I just realized? That's interesting. Okay. Let me see if that affected anything. Okay, it's five to one defender. I was looking at the combat table, and uh, it actually goes up to eight because you get these DRMs. And I was, when I was doing this quickly, I was looking at the table and uh, looking at the bottom of the table, assuming it was a six. In actual fact, it was an eight. But fortunately, on a five to one and a six to one, from six onwards it's a defender eliminated so that did not negatively impact anything all right seven here doubled because the guys are in the open that's a billion to one roll five a five on a six to one is a defender eliminated and there goes the mighty 10th panzer with the 18th motorized Across the Bug River in style. I think we want this fortified hex pretty darn badly. Let's see if we can knock this guy out with one attack here. Four, eight, twelve to two. It's going to end up being a 5 to 1 attack because it drops a column no matter what. So, oh, we roll a 6. Look at that bad boy. And you can't see what I'm doing. How's that? There I am. So, these guys are attacking this chappy here. We 
did that and clean them out, and they were like that's into that hex. These guys are here. I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet. I might, uh, I might attack across that river there. there. We'll roll the one. Whatever the combat result is, it's going to be a six to one. Defender retreat. He retreats two, and they're going to go one, two to here. That background noise you can hear is a chicken causing havoc in the garage because the garage is open. All right. So he retreated. All the way back to them. All right. So we're going to look at some of the combats going on down here. And where were we? These two attacks here. So. It's a little interesting, I thought I'd uh, share this a little bit with you. We had to uh, split our forces up here to make the attack, and uh, we only, and because they're both fortress hexes, we ended up uh, on fairly unattractive uh, odds, so uh, we took a, a step loss here for this guy. But we also have to take a step loss out of the attacking factors here. <coughs> and I think I'll take it out of the panzers, because I get panzer reinforcements pretty much every turn. We deleted, we eliminated the guys, we get to move into that hex. And every fortress hex we uh, destroy, we put a. Uh, I guess I could do that, couldn't I? Uh, I think, though, if you're attacking with panzers, oops, you have to take a loss out of the panzer unit first. Let me just check that for you. You know what? I'm so used to playing games where it's the Germans that have to take a step loss, uh, for, take an armor step loss first that uh, I just automatically think that, but in this case it's actually the uh, Russian guards units, guard armies and tank mech corps that have to take uh, the first loss as a step loss. Okay, and this guy, three, that's also both lose one, so he's off the board. And we'll take, uh, well, four, yeah, and we'll take that as well to get rid of the fort and these guys here I don't know if you can see it I'll fix it in a second if you can't five six six to one okay here also four six to one or four wrong table same result exchange that sucks wow that's expensive is there a flip I can do I think I can do that See that? I think you did. Right here? Yeah, you saw it. Alright. This will do this last little combat here, and then we'll move down into the... Oh, actually, the Odessa district doesn't have combat this turn. At least I don't think the Romanians do anyway. Two, four, six factors to one factor in the open. That's uh, a straight up attack. <laughs> I can roll a one defender retreat to... You'll go to here. No advance. And these guys, we'll just take this guy, it's six to one in there, we'll check that. Two, that didn't work out so good. Defender retreat also. You can just go to here, and they can advance into there. Alright, so that is uh, all of the combat and army group, north and center. And now, we'll, once we finish with the southern sector, we'll have a movement phase. And we've destroyed, basically, uh, I'm going to call that 10 divisions, maybe. Yeah, maybe one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, forty-six, yeah, about 18 divisions. For the loss, for loss of one. All right. There you have it. Talk to you soon. I'll uh, get the rest of the turn done in just a second.